First, with this developing story out of Iran, and the semi-official farce news agency is reporting a number of people have been wounded in an attack on the mausoleum of Ayatollah Khomeini in southern Tehran. There have also been reports of a shooting incident in Iran's parliament. France 24's Doug Herbert is following uh, this for us. Doug, the details here are still very sketchy. What more have you been hearing? Yeah, varying reports coming in, all coming in from uh, Iran's semi-official news agencies, including the one you quoted, Farce. Uh, like you said, multiple, uh, a series of two separate attacks in two separate locations in the capital, Tehran, one in the parliament building itself in central Tehran, and then another about 20 kilometers, 12 miles to the south, at a very, very symbolic site, the shrine to the Ayatollah Rula Khomeini, who was uh, really the founder of the Iranian Islamic Republic in 1979, and he was also its first supreme leader. So you don't get too much more symbolic than that. Uh, in the case of the shrine, you have uh, uh, one report saying that there was a suicide bomber, blew um, him or herself up at a bank just outside of the mausoleum, and that some other attackers were uh, arrested at the site. In the case of the parliament, you also have uh, conflicting uh, information in some cases. But what we can say is uh, there were initial reports said perhaps it was one attacker, but subsequently it seems that there was at least that there were several gunmen who uh, stormed into the parliament building. According to one lawmaker, some of them were armed with uh, uh, assault rifles, with AK-47 rifles. Um, reports of several people uh, uh, wounded within the parliament. There had even been some reports, um, unconfirmed by us, of a security guard, uh, possibly a security guard who had been killed. Like I said, that has not been confirmed. But what we can say for sure is that these attacks happened at the same time, about 12 miles uh, apart, at both very, very symbolic sites for different reasons, the parliament being highly fortified, uh, surrounded by multiple security checkpoints, the shrine to the Islamic Republic's founder, um, which is why the reports out of uh, Iran and its news agencies suggest that these uh, attacks um, were coordinated in some way, shape, or form. Doug, we don't often see attacks like this in Iran. You're absolutely right. I mean, last year you did have Iran uh, saying that it had thwarted, foiled uh, what it said, in, in, by its own words, was one of the biggest plots by terror groups against Tehran, the capital, and other major cities. What we do know is that Iran has a majority Shiite population. Uh, the, the Shiites are considered apostates to the faith by, uh, by uh, the Islamic State group. Uh, and as we also know, that Iran has been providing uh, key ground forces in a couple of countries, notably Syria and Iraq, in fighting the Islamic State group and Sunni jihadists. Um, so while the motivation of the assailants uh, in this attack are still unclear, are still unknown, there is that clear, uh, uh, that, that clear division uh, within the Muslim world uh, between a Shiite-dominated uh, Iran and, and a lot of the Sunni jihadists out there who see um, everything Iran does and says as being absolutely heretical and and, and apostates to the faith. All right, Doug, thanks for that. And as Doug said, this is an ongoing situation. We're just hearing now from the Tasnim News Agency quoting sources on the ground that seven people, at least seven people, have died in that attack at the Iranian parliament, with another four reportedly being taken hostage. This is a developing situation. We'll bring you the latest on it as we get it here on France 24. <laughs> Não, 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 não